I'm the city councilor for, for Capital Ward uh, in the city of Ottawa. So that includes um, Old Ottawa East, Old Ottawa South, Glebe, uh, Heron Park, uh, Dow's Lake, and I am the vice chair of the Environment Committee as well. And in terms of what I do, I, I've always, you know, been very much driven to help people. And, why I do this job, it sounds cliche, but you know, you can really try to work towards a better world. And at the local level, uh, you can implement changes that can substantially improve people's lives. So, you know, we're responsible for about 90% of the services that people receive and 60% of the infrastructure, um, even though we get less than 10 cents of every tax dollar. One of my biggest priorities has been climate change and, and climate justice. You know, I, I was the councillor who brought the motion for it on the climate emergency that we declared and making that uh, a reality where we actually follow through on what we said uh, we were going to do uh, with regard to that and, and treat it like the emergency it is in all of our decisions um, is, is one of my, my main goals. And another big piece that I work on is around sustainable transportation. So the shift from uh, just uh, vehicles and cars to uh, active transportation, walking, uh, biking, rolling, uh, other areas that are proven to work and, and pushing back against road expansion, which just adds more congestion. It's proven not to work and is extremely expensive. Well, I'll just say climate change is the uh, biggest risk facing the city of Ottawa. It means the displacement of people. It has a disproportionate impact on, on low-income folks. And the key risk factor for Ottawa it, it manifests itself as, as flooding. And uh, we've seen devastating floods um, in Ottawa, and, and that will likely only continue um, given the patterns we're seeing that are changing now. And the way that we have to address this issue um, is really uh, threefold. One is our housing choices matter a lot. Uh, that's our greatest source of emission overall from the community is, is how we burn fossil fuels to uh, heat our homes and power our homes. And that shift is on um, to moving, moving towards things like uh, air source heat pumps, uh, underground heat pumps that use electricity instead of uh, carbon-based uh, fuels. Currently, our, our second source, largest source of emission is transportation. All of our buses generally are, are diesel. The hybrids have been phased out. We want to have diesel buses, not expanding the urban boundary um, so that we're not spending so much money to provide new roads and infrastructure out in outlying areas that cost us a lot of money and, uh, and don't serve us well. My challenge to students in the city of Ottawa is to not so much do personal actions. They do matter, certainly. Personal actions like recycling and that sort of thing and using your green bin. But it's not so much that that's gonna really shift um, the model in Ottawa. What's gonna do it is reaching out to your elected representatives and sending them an email and telling them, you know, what grade you're in and why for your future uh, climate change justice is important. Um, that is the biggest thing. It has huge impact. We don't get emails from students very often. So when we do, we really pay attention. So I, I'd email, find out who your city councillor is, send them a note and just say, this is one of the most important issues to you. Uh, that will do wonders uh, for the future of this city if you're able to do that. If anybody wanted to, to follow me and uh, interact, I, I like to interact directly on there on, on Twitter. My handle is just at SeanMenard1, S-H-A-W-N-M-E-N-A-R-D-1. 